Hey everyone, this is Jeremy and today we are 3D printing things. Yes, because one thing that happens when you buy a 3D printer is you start thinking about all the manner of nonsense that you could 3D print. And I've found that there are people that have made very nice accurate models of various different rounds. This is a 30-06 round right here. I mean, these are really just very... Um, very close to each other. It's really very nice how close they are. Um, even in dimensions and everything, they're really, really close. Um, and they're kind of designed to where you could print these and use these as dummy rounds if you wanted to. Um, I only had gray filament, so that is the color I made them, but you could buy some bright colored filament and make these very obviously dummy rounds. And they pretty much, I mean, they feel a little bit lighter than regular rounds, but, you know, you can do all the normal things that you do with rounds, with these dummy rounds. Let's see if I want to chew uh... off. Yeah, right there, I mean, I got a nice... Uh, well, that's seven rounds. I need to stick one more in there, Jeremy. There we go. Got eight rounds in there. This clip feels like light. Um, so let's go ahead and take the old M1 Garand here. And we'll bring that back all the way and we'll grab this and we should be able to pretty much just load those in there like any other round and they should once i get in a good spot that i can do this oh, i did not eject it interesting you didn't eject well it looks like we've had a round of failure here because it stripped the um Stripped the base of it off so it was not able to cycle through. That is a little disappointing. All right, got the cleaning rod here. We're gonna go knock this guy out real quick. Ugh. And actually, the cleaning rod actually grabbed it when I jammed it into it. All right. All right, well, it just ripped the uh, the rim right off of it there. Um, so that's kind of a fail. Uh, I'm like very, not very long into this video and I've already failed. Um, wasn't really expecting that. I kind of thought it would, kind of thought they would cycle okay, but let's just try this again here. I've got another batch of these printing, so we'll try this guy in here. We'll see what happens. We'll just... Loaded it in there. I could see what was kind of going on in there because when I put it in there, it stopped it a bit. And it's almost like it may need... They may be a little too thick. It may need to size down a little bit because the bolt had to push it in there. And I'm sure... It's wedged in there so tight now that it's going to have to be um, that the bolt trying to pull it out is just going to rip the, yeah, it's just going to do the same thing there. Rip that off. Didn't quite rip it off this time. It just didn't grab it at all. And then this is the weird part I've got to, uh, it can't go out because of that. I got to push that down, bring this up. Bring that out, bring it back, and then it gets it out of there. And this guy, yeah, didn't rip it. Yeah, well, it, you see right there, it ripped part of the rim off and just stripped it right there. So these are apparently not strong enough. Speaking of failures, I'm going to show you some other failures that I had because I saw something else and was like, what? And I was like, what? Yes, this is 3D printed, guys. I mean, look at these guys here. They're like... You know, I like all the little details. They even tried to get the the stamping on the back of it, although it's a little hard to, hard for the printer there to get that all right. But, you know, it's got the little details, like the little bub there, the little 
the little dip in there on it. The problem with the model though is if you take a real one, you know, it kind of, you know, that's as much squish as you have on it there. You can kind of, uh, don't really have a lot. Uh, with this guy though, however, it's like, um, yeah, and they open up wide. So it's got a lot on it. Um, also, you know, one of these, this one kind of, you know, does that. And this one kind of, so there's that difference too. And uh, one other problem I have with these is that, um, you know, this one here around will pretty much, you know, catch on it there. I mean, it can file out that way or file out that way. But, you know, it, you know, these, these catch it there. Well, here it just kind of, you know, I mean, so yeah, that's not doing well. And you try to put some in here and it just, I mean, they fall out. It doesn't even work. It's just pushing the others out. This is, this is all a problem. Um, so, and also one of them in trying to cram them all in there, I had, you know, that happened there. So, it's not good. So I made something else. Um, so I made one that the lips kind of smush the the lips here a little bit more together. And this one will kind of this one will kind of hold seven. Um, I can't get an eighth one to stay in there. Um, it's just, the stuff is just, I mean, it's, you know, it's too, you know, it's too flexible. And I really thought this was going to be super brittle and hard, but it's actually, at being this thin here, the PLA is just really soft. Um, so, we're going to see, although this is pretty much, I know, going to fail now. This is more just to see if it'll load and if it'll even do the first one after all this. I don't know that it will. Um, if I can put that in there. Let me, I'm going to do this with a two-handed load because I don't normally do that, but this is likely to have any number of things fail. Oh, man, she doesn't want to go in. Yeah, and it's, uh, I can see what's happening with it here. The, uh, the rims are just not lining up with each other, so it's, it's got no good way to grab these because the rims are just going everywhere let me see what well, can i even stick this in here just empty that's the first thing to stick with yeah yeah see it can't engage when it needs to engage see and like a regular clip you put it in there and it should just slide right in like that i didn't even have to try that it just slides in there empty and this guy's just like nope i'm not gonna do it and i'm sure this one that one neither so wait 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 hold up i got it to go in there guys Will it close? Will it close with it? Let me see here. Let me push this down enough. Okay, it closed over it. Will it try to eject it? I mean, I don't know. Will I get a, a little muffled ping? Let's see. It went up that far. Didn't do anything else. It kind of had a little hiccup there. Let's try this again. Ugh. Let's see what happens here. Hey, it ejected it. It didn't go ping, but it spit it out like an actual real clip. Oh, man. This one, this one's a little misshapen, so I don't know if it's going to do it. Wait, wait, there we go. There we go. We got it too. Okay, once again. Will we get a ping? Let's see. It's not going to ping. But will we get an ejection? 
<laughs> well, it also really, it's so light, it like really ejects it like way more than it does a regular one. Um, the regular ones, you know, you know, it gets up, you know, it goes up about that far. This one, it like, like goes off the ceiling. The other one went over there by the TV somewhere. I mean, it's just crazy. So, um, yeah, it does that. However, I don't think I can get it to load any. Well, yeah, I might could do it this way. I might could hand load them in there. <laughs> It's actually kind of doing it, guys. <laughs> I'm sure it's just going to tear them up, though. Um, since it can't eject, th since it can't extract them. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm gonna slam this thing on my hand here doing this. Oh, ow. Oh, maybe this is a bad idea. Ugh. Oh, my word. Ugh. It's not worse for wear, though. Okay, got an A round in there, got A round, I get two, let me just see if I can get like, like three rounds maybe, can I get three, that one doesn't have a rim anymore, um, this one has a rim, okay, and what happens if I push this, okay, do I, do I give it the normal, it kind of loaded, of course, it's not going to eject it is the problem. Oh, or it will eject all of them. Oh, yeah, that was kind of a failure. Um, and there is still one in the chamber that did not pull out. Um, yeah, so this is kind of a failure, guys. So anyway, um, we'll have to play around with the dummy some more, see if we can figure out what to do to um, make these clear in there a little bit i suspect i just need a little bit taken off of this here i might could even file them down um, and get them to go in there but that's um probably uh, what we need there but yeah so 3d printing fail well, if you found this video useful be sure to give it a thumbs up and the like you can go down into the comment section and leave any thoughts you have down there and if you're interested you can also subscribe to my channel and click the little bell notification to make sure that you catch all the videos that i post so you don't miss anything i'm jeremy with poindexter g and we'll see you next time